I've got to ask you, Nick, while I've got you here, back at the pointy end of the pandemic, in the early months of the pandemic, you, of course, were the Deputy Chief National Medical Officer. You would have been answering, therefore, to the Health Minister. Did you know at the time that there were actually two Health Ministers, that the Prime Minister had been sworn in as Health Minister too? No, I didn't know, Chris, and I've just read uh, Scott Morrison's explanation on his Facebook page. I do recommend that Australians have a look at that. It is very detailed. I, I had uh, no um, reason to suspect that uh, there was anyone other than the Health Minister, Greg Hunt, that I was uh, reporting to, and there was no suggestion from the Prime Minister's office that that was any, uh, there any other than that. So I don't think there was uh, any practical implication to this. And if I might say, uh, you know, I do have a view back to... Whitlam and, and Kerr, and I can I, I think I can confidently say that uh, Hurley is not Kerr and Morrison is not Whitlam, and I think that this, um, whilst it needs to be looked at, uh, and it needs to be looked at because, uh, you know, we need to have functioning uh, institutions that work for the Australian public during a pandemic. So there is a question of, um, you know, whether this was the right thing to do. It may well have been the right thing to do. There is a question of secrecy, which I think is probably the broader question in the media at the moment. But no, Chris, there was no practical impact to the way that we performed our roles as public servants, at least from my perspective. Can you see that there would have been any difference if you had known? I think uh, secrecy is the key here. I think if this was thought to be necessary, it should have been made public. But do you think it would have made any material difference to how you performed your duties? No, I suspect not, and I agree with you, Chris. I think that the real question to be answered here in a liberal democracy is is not the sort of institutional effects of of having uh, those ministerial powers with the with the prime minister exercised or not, but it's a question of whether the Australian public should have known. And I think you'll you'll struggle to find anyone, myself included, and I suspect you share this view. We all think that it should have been transparent, and and that will ultimately be the question that needs to be answered. Absolutely. Thanks so much for joining us, Nick.